Today we are going to start our new chapter that is about the cardiac output, a venous return and the different regulatory mechanisms or the regulation of cardiac output and venous return through different mechanisms. So initially we are going to focus on the cardiac output, then we are going to uh, focus on uh, venous return. Our today's lecture is uh, just about the definition and different parameters used to assess the cardiac output. So basically cardiac output, what is cardiac output? Cardiac output is simply, it is simply the amount of blood that is pumped by the heart into the aorta per minute. Blood pumped per minute. So it is simply the amount of blood that is pumped by the heart into the aorta each and every minute. Now here we have the heart. Here we have the heart. Blood is coming through different uh, channels into the heart and basically the blood is coming into the left atrium then the uh, uh, the right atrium sorry blood from the right atrium goes into the right ventricle then from the right ventricle blood goes into the lungs then from the lungs the blood com comes into the left atrium from the left atrium blood comes into the left ventricle now the left ventricle it pumps the blood into the aorta this is the aorta this is the main the largest blood vessel now the amount of blood that is pumped by the left ventricle into the aorta each minute every minute that is known as the cardiac output so cardiac output is simply the amount of blood pumped per minute blood pumped per minute but basically blood heart is basically pumping blood into the lungs as well so it is the amount of blood pumped by the left ventricle into the aorta per minute now there are different mechanisms or different parameters which changes the amount of blood that is pumped by the left ventricle that that amount that amount basically changes with the help of certain parameters now the factors or the parameters which changes the amount that is pumped every minute that, that factors include the metabolism if the metabolism of the human body increases then the amount of blood that is pumped by the left ventricle into aorta every minute increases if the metabolism decreases then the cardiac output or the amount of blood that is pumped it also decreases the second factor is the exercise when a person is actively exercising then the amount of blood that is pumped by the heart into the aorta also increases when uh, in the resting condition it is normal now what is the normal value of the cardiac output we are going to discuss it uh, then another factor for the amount of cardiac output is age cardiac output is very much dependent upon the age of the person as well with increasing age with increasing age initially the cardiac output increases but then after that a certain point the cardiac output start decreasing and then stabilizes and finally cardiac output is very much dependent upon the size of the body if the weight <clears throat> and the size of a human being is increasing or it is large then the the amount or the value of the cardiac output is very large as well and for if the size of the body is uh, less or it is decreasing due to weight loss then the cardiac output also decreases now the average cardiac output for men is around 5.6 liters per minute for men the heart the left ventricle is pumping around 5.6 liter of blood every minute into the aorta and for women it's around 4.9 liters of blood that is pumped by the left ventricle into the aorta every minute and when if we calculate the average cardiac output for average human being considering the 
एवरेज एज एवरेज साइज एंड एवरेज मेटाबॉलिज्म लेवल देन द एवरेज इज एग्जैक्टली अराउंड फाइव लीटर्स पर मिनट सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट कार्डिक आउटपुट इन जनरल वी एज्यूम दैट इट इज अराउंड फाइव लीटर्स पर मिनट नाउ is the cardiac output is dependent upon the exercise age and size and metabolism therefore <clears throat> the cardiac output per square meter of the body is also discussed because when the size of the body increases the surface area the surface area of the body also increases so when we discuss cardiac output per square meter of the body surface area when we discuss the cardiac output per square meter of the body surface surface area it is known as basically the cardiac index and cardiac index is very much dependent upon the size or the surface area of the body for normal human being having a weight of around 70 kg they have surface area of around 1.7 1.7 meter square so for normal human being having a weight of 70 kg their body surface area is 1.7 square meter and for this normal average body surface area the average cardiac index is 3 liter per meter Uh, sorry 3 liters per minute per square meter so cardiac output is simply the amount of blood pumped per minute but cardiac index is cardiac output per square meter of the body surface area so for normal human beings of 70 kg having surface area of 1.7 square meter the cardiac index is 3 liter per minute per square meter so that's all about the uh, definition of cardiac output cardiac index and different parameters uh, that affect the cardiac output and cardiac index to summarize it once again cardiac output is simply the amount of blood that is pumped by the left ventricle into the aorta every minute or per minute the factors which influence the cardiac output includes the metabolism of the body exercise age of the person and size of the body for for average human being for men the cardiac output is 5.6 liter per minute for women the cardiac output is around 4.9 liter per minute and for average human being uh, considering the gender age metabolism and size of the body average cardiac output for everyone is around exactly 5 liter per minute and when we consider cardiac output cardiac output per square meter of the body surface area when we consider it as a output per square meter of the body surface area regardless of the time then it is known as cardiac index so cardiac index for normal human being is around 3 liter per minute per square meter and that's because for normal human being we assume that the weight is 70 kg and the body surface area is around 1.7 meter per square if the weight and the size increases as we have discussed then this factor will also increase and decrease so thanks a lot for watching this video